So here we're talking about solving equations using the square root property. The first one we're looking at is x squared equals to 144. So we could solve this by subtracting 144 from both sides, getting the difference of squares, and then factoring out and finding the same answers. But this is a little faster to do and easier, fewer steps using the square root property. So basically all we're going to do is take the square root of both sides, and then we're going to get the square root of x squared is x equals to plus or minus the square root of 144. So what that means is we're going to take the square root of 144 and we're going to get 12. And whenever you introduce the radical at this point, you're going to do the plus or minus. So x will equal plus or minus 12, and that's all you have to do. When we're looking at a problem like this, we're going to do the same thing. We have square root of each side. So we get x minus 4 because the square root will take care of the squaring, plus or minus the square root of 49. So x minus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 49 is 7. So now I'm going to add my 4 over. So x will equal 4 plus or minus 7. So now I have two answer possibilities. I have 4 plus 7, which equals 11, and I have 4 minus 7, which equals negative 3. So those would be the two answers that you would you will get. And when you plug them both in, in this case, they're both going to equal uh, 7 squared uh, equal to 49, which would be true. Now on this one, what you have to note is that each of these were already set equal to the constant. So here i got to move my constant over. So now I'll have x squared equal to 3. Taking the square root of both sides, I get x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. There's nothing more I can do here because square root of 3 will not reduce, and so you're done.